Well, hello, hello, and welcome back. I'm AJ O'Neill. This is Beyond Code Live, and we're working on another Sharpen the Stream. So the way that this is going to work... Oh, no, the chat from last time is still there. Hold on, can I get rid of that real quick? I'm going to see if I can make that go away. It doesn't really matter, but can we... Oh, no, it's stuck. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, um, so what we're doing is we've got these auto transcripts. We've got the automatic upload working. We've kind of sort of got automatic title updates working with YouTube and Twitch. And by kind of sort of, I mean, just now I noticed that the YouTube title didn't update, but the Twitch did. So YouTube seems a little bit finicky. And anyway, the next thing that we're going to work on is getting these downloaded. We don't have a webhook or anything like that. So we're just going to have to pull occasionally and then get the transcripts downloaded. And then we need to match those to a spreadsheet that has some other information about the videos. And the way that I'm gonna match them is probably with the YouTube URL here. So that's that's what we're up for tonight. Hello to those of you that are joining in. Uh, what would you like to learn tonight? What's, uh, and, and where are you from? What are you doing? What brings you to the channel? I'm just gonna put this in here. What would you like to learn about tonight? Feel free to interrupt at any time with questions, comments, etc. This is, just a nice little live live code and hang out so we can uh, we can be friendly and I do like the conversation with all that said before we uh, hit the code let's hit the caffeine so pop top my friends we'll open up mr. Mountain Dew and opening focus ah, there we go okay so I think this is gonna be fairly trivial to get started with I do have a directory. I, I use sync thing, which by the way, let me just drop this in here. Uh, web install.dev slash sync thing. It's kind of like a decentralized ish Dropbox. So you can check that out if you're interested in it. It's pretty painless to install with Webby. The configuration that you might want to do is right here and you just share it between different computers. So with my virtual assistant, we are sharing um, this virtual assistant folder. And so I've already created an otter downloads folder and it's empty. And this is where I'm going to put the downloads. I got to figure out what exactly to name them. Cause I kind of, I guess the names that we're going with here, now that we've got the uploads in place, the names actually are kind of consistent. Uh, but this one, has not been processed yet. It doesn't have the YouTube URL in it. So I think the way that we're going to determine whether or not it's been processed is whether or not it has um, a, a YouTube URL in it. So we, well, I guess we, we want to download all of them, but we want to download them particularly once the YouTube URL is there. I'm wondering if I could do this a better way. It'd be cool if I could update the Google spreadsheet, but then how would I know? Hmm. Yeah, I need, I basically, I need more pieces of information at one time than are available. So I don't know if I can get everything to go in one step like I'd like, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, but let's see in my dot ENV for this. Do I not? I don't have a dot ENV for this yet. We'll put a dot ENV in here. So otter downloads equals, oh, bless me. And I'm just going to put to make this simple users aj sync i guess actually i could just leave the tilde in here and we could if there's a tilde in there we could parse it out um as a replacement for home i kind of would prefer to do that so example.env and then what what all do we have in here do we have We've got the restream, the otter. Okay, we have otter down here. So that's, we're gonna, I guess we're gonna need an otter download as well. Maybe that's where this ought to move. Yeah, let me go put this in there, actually. So I'm gonna move this out of here. I'm gonna put it in this.env as otter downloads. And then we're gonna copy upload.js because there's probably gonna be a lot of similar code. And we're going to put that in download.js. So sorry, I didn't really show you what that was. It's okay. You're going to see it as we go through. So we're going to get the downloads. We're going to get FS module. 
Uh, we're going to add Otter API. All that's going to be the same. File path, we're not going to pick an upload file path per se, although maybe we will. We'll start out with that, sure. No, no, we're, we're just going to use... We're, file path is going to be process.env.otter downloads. Um, and then if not file path, we're just going to throw an error. Throw new error. Please set otter downloads. Okay. We're not going to access the file path, or maybe we will. I guess we could go ahead and read from that directory, because this is actually going to be... It's not a file path, it's going to be a dir path. So let's call it dir path. And then we want to do read dir. And there is, in Node, there's a couple of different ways to use read dir. They just added a new one within the last couple of years. So I'm going to look that up real quick, but it gives you more information in one go. That's what's going to be different about it. So let's look at, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's click on Node File System. Let's go to read dir and let's see what the option is. Read dir path options uh, with file types. Uh, let's see here. Mm. Okay. All right. So yes, we do want the durant objects as well. Okay. So if you don't do with file types, then it just gives you the string names of the entities that are in the directory. Whereas if you do with file types, then it gives you durint objects and durint objects are basically stat objects. I don't think they're full stat objects, but they're half stat objects. It's basically the information you need to know to determine whether or not you want to do a stat. So we'll go with that. So we're going to read dir, dir path, and we do want to have with file types is true. Mm, I guess we don't really need it, but I want it. And then what should we do from here? I think we could just keep that in memory and just nodes, FS nodes. I'll call it FS nodes to, or durance maybe. I don't know what the appropriate way to call that would be. All right, then we're going to initialize the Otter API with our username and password. And then uh, we're not going to create a read stream because we're not going to be doing the upload. Here, what we want to do is the download. So we don't need the show progress, any of that stuff. Um, but we're going to need the speech IDs. Let me go ahead and check. What, what else do we have in here? .js. I think otter.js or maybe down. Yeah, otter.js was kind of me just fooling around, trying to understand how we can use it and what the different things are. So I think we want get speeches and hopefully that gives us all the speeches irrespective of how they've been sorted into folders and whatnot. That's what I'm hoping for here. Hmm. All right. I parsed YouTube information. Yeah, we tested that out earlier. I think I'm going to pull this out. Well, let's see, can we make this more useful? That's what I really want to know. Let speech is equals. So what I should do here is let 
otter module dot exports because this is our otter wrapper as opposed to the main otter API. So even calling it otter is kind of maybe not the correct thing to do, but I'm going to go with it for now. We're going to parse YouTube info. Hmm. It's just kind of tough. I'm not quite sure what the best way to approach this is. I think what we should do is we should probably download the JSON. And that is just, we just download the JSON. But then maybe we also want to have more information that's in a better format that's easier for a human to work with. I think that's what we want. So I'm do if require.main is equal to module, then we'll run main. But otherwise we won't run main because just getting this parse YouTube info is important. And I'm going to take this speeches bit and pull this out. And there we go. Let's go to this. So downloads. By the way, feel free to drop a comment, say hello. I'd love to know who you are, whether you're uh, new to the channel or you're someone that frequents it. It's nice to know who I'm up late at night with. You know what I'm saying? All right. So we're going to do Otter API. Let otter equals require otter.js. No need for default there. Okay, we're going to get speeches. And then we're going to have speech.title. I need to take a look again at what this looks like. And I think we had that in the npm module. Let me go there, npmjs.org. Let's go to otter API. Um, hmm. that's weird is this the same one because this doesn't even show the github repo let's look for github otter api js otter.ai API. Okay, this is the right one. All right, yeah, because he had in here basically what this looks like, which is what we want to get. So we're going to have a speech ID, start time, modified time. We probably want to get this. Uh, what else might we want to have in here? Download URL, transcript updated at. I think we want to see if either of these have changed when we go to grab it. So I'm just going to call this metadata. And we'll want to compare metadata between the two. So for speeches, All right, we're not going to do any upload here. I'm not going to do any of this. But for each of these, hmm, let's see. I think I'm going to call I don't know what to call this. And I want this to be async. So I'm going to go grab promise dot for each from AJ script. Let's see if we, it's not showing in uh, search results yet. That's fine. So I've been working on AJ script, which is a subset of JavaScript uh, as far as the language goes with some small extensions to the standard library that are things that I basically need every day. Um, so this is one of them. This is part of AJ script. 
So let me go ahead and do AJ script here. Whoops, just paste that in. And then in this, we want to require AJ script as well. And I am going to eventually, I think I'm going to call it root script if I ever publish it. But this is um, a module for stuff. Okay. So now I want promise dot for each put in speeches. And now we can have a nice async way to deal with this. Um, what is it? Speech.id? Let me go back and look at this. Speech underscore ID. Okay, so speech underscore ID. What we're going to look for here is we're, we're going to look for metadata, see if metadata already exists for this. And then I guess what we should have, I'm trying to think about how to go about this. We should have fs.read file. And we should be able to do dir path. Oh, I forgot back up here. We do need to change if dir path starts with tilde we need dir path equals dir path dot slice one and then we need process dot env dots is it home i think we want to do path dot join between these maybe process.env.home. Let's see, process. Home, yeah. So I think that they have changed this, uh, it made it so that it's cross-platform, so that'll work on Windows too. Not that it matters because I don't use Windows, but you know, it's nice for things to work on Windows when you can. Uh, by the way, hello, welcome to the channel. Nice to uh, e-meet you, except we haven't really e-met because I don't know who you are. But if you want to, you know, pop in the chat and say hello, that'd be nice. See, I'll do it. I'll go first. Hello. Let me know who you are, where you're from, what brings you to the channel tonight. And, uh, or, you know, if you're just somebody returning, then I will welcome you with maybe open arms, maybe closed arms. I can just wait and see. I don't think we're going to need FS sync here. Okay. So we're going to have dir path. And then I think we just ought to do id.meta.json is what we ought to try for. Um, I guess technically we could do a require on this, but I don't really want to do that. Semantically, that feels a little messy. But we'll just try this out. Uh, get it with UTF-8. And then dot .catch, then we'll, um, we'll return. Well, I guess... What do I, there needs to be a function in JavaScript. This is something that needs that, that I want in, in AJ script is there needs to be a function in JavaScript. I don't know what it should be called, but it should just do nothing. It should return null. And maybe it should be capital null. I don't know. Or I, I don't know what it should be or what, what it should be part of. Maybe it should be function dot null, function dot false, some stuff like that. I don't know. But there needs there needs to be just some default 
functional type functions that give you the identity and uh, whatnot. Because really all I want to do with this is ignore. I wonder if I just give it nothing, if that's fine. What happens if I give a promise nothing? Let's try this out. Let's do new promise function reject. Oops. Let's do reject new error bad dot catch. What happens? It says uncaught error. So what if we do this then? Just get nothing? Okay. All right. Because really I don't, I don't, there's not really an error if it doesn't exist. So meta text, if not meta text, then what we're going to give it is this. And then we're going to try, I think we do want to get an error if the meta text is wrong. Maybe let's do meta and I'm going to put in here otter this way we can have some meta information that's strictly us. So there's otter. Um, we're going to do let meta and then meta equals JSON dot parse meta catch meta equals nothing. Or actually, we did. No, we don't want to catch that. Do we want to catch that? I'm just going to th throw e. Wait, I I know that this this does nothing because we could just not have the try catch at all. But I, I'm just going to put that there for now while I'm thinking through this. All right. So then, with the metadata, let's see. What else do we want? kind of just want to access hmm let's let's try this so okay the catch same thing here i just want to check exists basically uh, and this one we can do a little bit better because we can use the object function as kind of an identity function, at least for objects such as errors. It does not wrap it. So no access means that there's an error. If there is access, then there's just undefined. It's nothing. So that's why it's the negative case here. So if no access, then... I guess what we want to do is json.stringify the meta information. Hmm. I'm just shooting from the hip here. I, I may end up refactoring this differently. I probably will. So otter is speech. Uh, and then what do we want in terms of any data that we give? I don't know yet. So we're going to have that fs. Uh, write file, and then we'll probably do, maybe we should just move this up here to call it metapath. Metapath, let's just do that. Do let metapath equals, and then let speech path equals, maybe, maybe. Where did I put that speech path thing? I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. So maybe we do this as speech path. Okay. So if there's no access, then we definitely want to write the meta text. So if it doesn't exist, we definitely want to write out the meta text to, I guess actually we want to do meta path, meta text, and then UTF-8. And then I think we want to do the same thing with speech path 
and then we're gonna need to download the speech which I might need to go grab that from the other file. Let me go do that real quick. So in here we had somewhere that we went and actually got the speeches, get speech, there we go. Okay. So here we go and get the speech. And we should stringify this. And then I think that's right. Oh, meta. I guess I should call these by the same name here. All right, and then this had speech ID which we would get from ID. So let's just say ID is this. There we go. Hey, how's it going? I'm AJ. Welcome to the channel. Nice to have you here. So what I'm doing is I am downloading, I, I have for my stream, I have it so that when I hit the in stream button, it automatically transcodes my audio that I've recorded, uploads it to Otter, and then in the morning the transcription will be available. And so now what I'm working on is the bit that will download the transcriptions and keep them stored in a sync folder between me and the virtual assistant, Josh. And then eventually what I want to be able to do is create blogs out of this. So you'll get the transcript. There will be a, a website that has the transcripts of every stream that I do. So if I want to search for, oh, where was the stream where I talked about this? Or, oh, wasn't there a good clip that we should pull from one of these things? I'm going to, we'll just have the transcript there um, available. And then timecode links as well, which we'll get to that in a second. But first, I just want to see if we can just download this. And really, I guess this should be two different things. So this should be if no meta access. And then we should have a no speech access. And feel free to ask questions. We can go off topic. We can talk about different stuff. Okay, this is speech path. Meta path. So I'm I'm gonna I'm dealing with one of the hardest problems in computer science here is I have to consider how to cache this. So basically, if the file exists, I don't need to rewrite it. I guess I could, but it's it's probably fine. Well, assuming this is the thing, assuming that I can read the file, then it's fine. I guess since I have to get this every single time, maybe I might as well, regardless of whether I can access it or not, maybe I might as well just say, okay, since I have to read the metadata every time, write the metadata every time. Uh, the problem there is, well, I, I, guess, I guess we're back to this problem. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll come back to this later. But basically, I, I, I should probably wrap this as a, as a get metadata function. So if we can't get the metadata, then we definitely need to rewrite it. And if we can get the metadata, then we want to compare to see if things are different before we write it anew. The fewer writes that we have, the less opportunity there is for some sort of strange failure. So basically, as long as we can read in the file as JSON and it parses correctly, unless Josh or I goes in and messes up the file, the data should be good. Right? Ostensibly, that's the way that it is. <sighs> Keyword ostensibly. So we're going to move these three into here. And 
And then from there, that's kind of all the download function needs to do. We can keep the download function pretty similar. Uh, maybe. Because the one thing that Josh is likely to edit is the title. And if the title changes, then we do want to rewrite the file. So to do rewrite if title changes. So I'm going to say write if it doesn't exist or if the title changes. And then we should have a second process that takes the downloaded stuff, combs through it, and updates it. Hmm. Maybe we could create a CSV out of this with some information in it. And just regenerate it every time. Okay, let's let's work on the, the get meta function. So get meta, we're going to give it an ID, and then we're going to try all this stuff, right? Or I guess maybe we give it a meta path. Kind of just want to give it an ID. Get or create meta. Let's give it an ID and a dir path. And then maybe we don't need this. Maybe we move meta path down here. And maybe we move this in here. And we just do await get or create meta. And then we give it a dir path and an ID. Like that. That would probably suit my needs just fine. But I am going to need to compare these. So what are the things that I need to compare? I mean, basically, it th this so the thing that I'm protecting against is I on my own computer I have this happen sometimes where I run scripts. Uh, again, the more likely, the more you write to disk over top of an existing file, the more likely you are to have a complication that that file becomes corrupt. So in this particular case, I really don't want to write to disk. It's worth the extra bit, the cost to me to just read from, read from the disk, the file that's there, compare to see if there's differences. And if there's no differences, then ignore it. And if there are differences, then I did have a module, I think it was called safe, right? Let me see if I can find that real quick. mpmjs.org. I think it's called safe, safe, right? Hmm. Somebody else has got one. Let's see if we got safe in Kool Aid JD6. Come on now. Uh, it was called safe file, right? I don't know. Let me go find out real quick what, what, what happened. Like that. Let me go look at my repositories and see if I can find safe. Maybe we call it safe FS. I don't know. Node safe replace. Uh, I should bring that back to GitHub. All right. I was an idealistic young lad. I want to self-host all the things, which philosophically I still uh, believe in, but the way the world is, you just, you can't get any SEO if you self-host. You have to be on the big platforms. Okay, so safe replace. A priceless document, yes, indeed. So write file async. Stage async, commit async. I think this just did exactly what I wanted, was write file async, does everything. I should probably have put this in separate pieces of documentation. 
you know, like this is does what you want. And then this is the individual components. Yeah, well, let's try it out. Oh, I don't even have the NPM install in here. Dang, what was I smoking? Let's go ahead and get that. Um, safe replace. Let's go grab that. I am checking the chat, by the way, so feel free to say hello or ask a question. Or take us down dark paths. Okay, safe replace. All right, so this will make me feel better. So Metapath, Metatext, UTF-8. There we go. That's good enough. Oh, we need to async this. All right, so if nothing's there, then we can just return at this point, I think. Uh, Luisenti, probably a bad idea, but how about first write to a temporary file, and after everything has been written, simply rename the file. Since renaming a file should be an atomic operation, this way you can be sure a uh, file with correct name always has the expected content. Now, that's basically what this does. So th this is what it does. It creates the file, removes the backup, moves the current version to the backup, moves the new version to the current version. So that's that's what safe replace does. And just that's the the bash equivalent. I think that's what you're suggesting, right? Write to a temporary file and then rename the file. Yep, that's it. But remember, you cannot do a rename if the file already exists. So you do have to have the three things in play. Yeah. By the way, welcome to the channel. I don't think, Louis Senti, I don't think I have seen your handle before. So hello and welcome. And if you feel so inclined, feel free to like and sub or follow if you want to. If you find that this is entertaining or useful for you. Okay, where was I at? So we had this thing about the speech and we have the speech. So we have the metadata about the speech, not the whole speech, but the metadata. So really we could just put in speech here and then we can just grab the ID from the speech right here like this. All right. So if the thing doesn't exist at all, we can just write it. And if it does exist, then I only want to write it if it changes. But then I still want to safe write it. So the way to see... Uh, what is it complaining about? Metapath was used before it was defined. Okay, let's go ahead and put this up here. So... Maybe I do want this. Um, mm, eh, we'll leave it. So we'll parse, parse this, and then 
we'll do a safe replace on that. Oh, oh and we need the TXT here spelled like so, so that we're using that consistently. And that a text. All right. And I kind of, hmm. In the case that the data was there but corrupt, I don't really know what I want to do. I guess I will just replace it. Um, we'll do that. And then the last case is if anything is different about it, which maybe we could just do this way as well, actually. Maybe I can, maybe I can just say console.warn here. I'm gonna just do this warn. Um, and what, what was it? Metapath uh, was corrupt. Overriding corrupt. There we go. We'll do that. Because I can just say meta is equal to like this. I don't know how that would fail, but whatever. And then speech. So we're basically going to say, I think, I think I've got a certain number of keys that I want to check to see if they're the same or not. So we want start time, modified time, title, title in particular. I think the title and the timestamps Transcript updated at modified time. I think those are the things that we want to look for. And it's just if these things have changed, then we want to rewrite. We want to download the file and rewrite it again. And I guess I need to signal somehow that something has changed. Hmm. And maybe I should call it get or update. Modified time, maybe. Speech ID can't change. Title can change. I don't think the duration can change. Um, if the transcript updated can change, that means we just edited something about the transcript, which I don't think we're going to do, but I'm going to put that there anyway. The main thing that I'm worried about changing is modified time could mean that the process is actually running presently. Same thing with transcript updated at. So if that changes, that that could make sense. Um, I don't know about owner and groups and folders, that sort of thing. I don't know if I really care about that right now. I might care about that in the future. Uh, if the speakers array has changed, I actually do care about that. Okay. Which actually, eh, eh, that's going to be caught by modified at, I'm pretty sure. So I, I think, I think these are sufficient to say if any of these three things have changed, then we know that we need to, to, to deal with it. So key. So if meta key not equal meta, let's say we call this meta dot otter key not equal speech key, then return true. So let changed equals this and then if changed 
then we're going to do our uh, update here and then we're going to return changed is changed and we're going to return um, speech is speech I don't think there's anything else we need to worry about right now so that's our let's call it get or update And then what we need here is, I don't know, I'm just going to call it details for now. I'll probably change it in just a second. So we're going to await this. All right, so if the metadata hasn't changed, then at this point we can probably just return. Um, well, no, that's not entirely true. So, whoops, the next thing we need to do is we need to check if we can get or update the speech. That's what we need to do. And I need to look at those details on the speech itself. Kind of think we need to update the meta after we update the, the speech details. So I'm going to move this out. Because here we just want to read and determine if it's changed. And then after we update the speech info is when we want to update the metadata. Just get this order of operations correct. So next, I don't know exactly how this is gonna work, but uh, let's call this meta details and then let speech details equals, and then similar get or update speech and then we'll give it a dir path and oh speech speech all right oh and we got a bot i'm going to say goodbye to the bot goodbye bot okay let me save so this uh i've got i've gotten a bit lazy with writing code properly and getting my editor set up to indent with the correct number of spaces and stuff like that because it's i just let prettier do everything now but then sometimes i get in situations like this where i obviously didn't close a bracket somewhere and now it's super upset at me and uh i just want it to okay so the the error is near okay what is it complaining about 50 Unexpected keyword if. Oh, because there's a comma there. Get you every time, them darn commas. Hey, what's up, Noah? Has anyone else been using Twitch on Firefox getting failed to load module half the time? I've had trouble with Twitch, not specifically on Firefox, but it does weird stuff, it seems. All right, so I'm going to move that down and we're going to have this bit here, get or update. We've got get or update meta and we're going to do something similar, get or update speech again with the dir path and the speech. Um, and I guess this should be get or update transcript actually. So let me go back here. I'm going to grab this. I think I'm going to just take both of those down here. And I should just go straight for the read. I don't know if there's any point.
There we go. And I think I'm going to call this transcript. Or maybe I should leave it as speech. Yeah, let's just leave it as speech. I'll call this speech text. So if not speech text, we're going to do very similar to what we did up here. And remember, write everything twice. Don't try to... Mid-level coder thing is to try to follow the dry principle, the don't repeat yourself principle to the point of excess. And so the write everything twice is the counter metric to don't repeat yourself, which is uh, you should at least repeat yourself twice. And then on the third time, you might know whether or not you actually do want to consolidate. All right, so this is get speech. Um, yeah. Write speech, speech path, speech text. That's all good. And then at that point, we could just return, I think. Uh, we'd want to return with the transcript as we're calling it here. Oh, and we need an async function for this. All right. Otter API is not defined because we define that in main. Hmm. So part of me says, let's just move this up for now. I think that's fair. Right. And we're going to get back to this where we're reading the directory. Maybe. Maybe we won't. So we're going to read that file. And... So if not speech text, so I guess if speech text, then speech should be equal to JSON dot parse speech text. Okay. And this is where we'd have a try and a catch and a warn. Okay. So there we go. We're not worried about the if changed so much. So we'll do if not speech or uh, this is where we would want meta details dot changed. So let's see if I can bring in meta details here. This is where we'd want. Wait, this is Gitter update meta. What? I thought I was in Gitter update transcript. Gitter update speech. Uh oh. Oh no, I was editing the wrong thing. Ah. Uh... Let me copy all this and then undo, 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 undo. All right, now let's go back down, go back down here and see what we got. So there's read file. So we're going to, if we don't have it, we're going to get it. Well, we're going to, mm, hold on. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to save this for later. Okay. Yeah, this is this is what we're gonna do. Meta details. 
get or update. Yeah, write everything twice is wet. Dry and wet. No accident on the name. Okay, get or update speech. All right, so if we don't have these, that's where we go, or if something changed, that's where we go fetch the transcript and then write it out to file. Yep, okay, this is right. Okay, except we don't want that one, we want this one. We want the safe right. Okay. Return transcript. It's probably the right thing to do. Oh, except. Uh, I guess this one would be speech. Let's call it new speech. New speech. Or maybe we just do speech. Yeah. I think that's what we want to do. And then we just return speech and we're all good. All right, then we're going to use speech path here. Cool. So I think that's all correct. But speech has already been declared. Oh, right. Darn it. Mm. Maybe we just wanted to get ID here. And we can actually do like that. I think that's correct. Okay, so let's go back all the way up here. And we're just going to grab that ID. And then who knows what we're going to do. So if if meta details changed, then we want to write out This meta, let's see, meta path. So then we want to define that again, I guess. Hmm. Feels a little janky, but I'm going to go with it for now. Okay, now I don't want to do, I, I don't know what I want to do with this. All right, so I'm always going to get a list of metadata, but I'm not always going to go fetch down every speech. So I think where I'm writing something new, I want to point out that I'm writing something new. So let's see, changed. So where am I doing my writes right here? So I'll do console.info and we'll do wrote, wrote new, and then we'll put in metapath. And then kind of sort of same thing here, get or update, we can put out a wrote new speech path here. And so the first time I should see a whole bunch of these, and the next time I should need see none of them. All right, let's try it. See what happens when I do it. Let me check comments over here. Oh, promise dot underscore for each is 
whoops, uh, an AJ script thing. So AJ script is the, my version of JavaScript that I'm working on. Let me just give you that link there. So there, as far as the language, there are no extensions to the language in AJScript. AJScript is a strict subset of JavaScript. But in terms of the standard library, AJScript does allow for extensions to the standard library. So for example, promise is part of the standard library. It's not part of the language. The language was already capable of producing promises before promises were ever included as an item in the standard library. Uh, likewise, regexp.escape is something that's going to be included in AJScript, but for reasons that have been discussed in the TC39, which is the steering committee for JavaScript, they have voted against including uh, a regular expression escaper, which I think is silly because there's a particular use case that it doesn't handle correctly. And I would just say document that it's not for that use case, but whatever reason they've decided that the answer is no. Um, that rather than simply documenting, this is the appropriate use of the escape function, because there is a use case where it doesn't handle it perfectly, which I still need to read into to understand a little better, a little bit better what exactly they're talking about there. Um, they've decided to do uh, what I consider to be the stupid thing. All right, cannot read properties of title, uh, 54. Speech details. So speech details should always exist. Get or update speech. Speech details, okay, return. So if not speech, then await get speech. Okay. Uh, All right, I don't know how that could be a problem. Let's see, wrote new. Let's just take a look at what this says here. Um, and I'm kind of surprised the way that that's printing out. That doesn't look right. Okay, this looks fine. Um, do we, json.parse speech. Okay. So this should be perfectly fine, right? Let me go look at this title. That looks right. I don't see anything wrong with that. So what, what, what is it complaining about? Cannot read property, um, undefined reading title, uh, download 54. Let's just take a look at that one more time. Line 54 speech details dot title speech details get or update speech must return get or update speech hmm. that doesn't quite make sense to me because this must return a valid speech because the only way Get or update speech. Did I have something wrong in AJ script here? Oh wait. Element all. Okay, that looks right. I don't see a problem there. Just you know, sanity check. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to run this again and just see if I can see something else. Let's... All right. So something, something went wrong here, but I'm not quite clear what it was. All right. Wrote new.
Okay, let's do dir path equals path dot resolve dir path. All right, what do we got? Yeah, it goes through every promise in the array and applies the function. Yes. Sorry, I probably should have described the function than rather where it comes from. All right, I'm really confused about this. Because I just don't see how this condition can happen. Git or update speech. Um, speeches. If not speech details. Or title. Console dot error speech details and meta details and id i don't know i think that maybe one way that this could be happening which doesn't quite make sense i'm i'm actually i might be missing in a wait somewhere am i missing in a wait let's see i'm doing a wait read file i'm doing a wait git speech i'm doing a wait safe replace Hmm. Oh, you know what? Here it is. That's it right there. There was a speech up here and there was a speech here. I was shadowing by mistake. Okay. So that should solve that problem. Now let's run this again. And oh no. Received undefined. All right. Download 118. So speech text should be JSON stringify. Oh, that should go here. Duh. All right. Let's try it one more time. There we go. Cool beans. So now if we run this again, it should go through very quickly. Oh, by the way, that's my signature move right there. Things go right. That is connected this time, yeah? Okay, good, it is. Y'all hear it this time. Last time, because I'd readjusted a bunch of my stuff on my desk and plugged and unplugged things and reset my, uh, my speaker output because of all the other stuff I was doing, I didn't have the stream deck connected to the output. So that stunk. That was a big... But now... It works. So, we're good. I don't know what that is. Is that a python or a viper or alligator? Uh, a raptor? Is it a raptor? I love raptors. <laughs> Okay, man, I'm going overboard with the sound effects. Oh, you know what I need? Okay, here, here's something that I need, that I must has. I can must has. Hold on. Let's see, I just want that maybe the 18 second version. Okay, that's what we need. We need this right here, this clip. 
except I really only want the four second version. If somebody's already done that, which I'm sure they have, let me go to YouTube proper and check that out real quick. Cause I, I need a sound bite for that. <laughs> you know, I don't know when I would have used it, but I'm sure I will use it when there's a problem that comes up and it's like, ah, it's a Unix system. I know this. Let's see. There we go. That's the one I want. It's a Unix system. I know this. That one might have been just a touch too short. But we'll we'll go with it for now. It's a Unix system. I know. Alright, let's do a YouTube audio downloader real quick. I'll grab both of them and then I'll I'll attach one right now and then later I'll do the the whole bit with um editing it so the edges are tapered a little nicer uh, and if they have a 720p that's usually the one that has the best audio quality okay and then here yeah, let's get the best audio quality we can i should just rip it from the dvd the blu-ray i have it actually let me uh, then i'd have to find that time code on it and all that i don't want to do that right now we can do that later all right but i need her face as well so let's go ahead and put that in the Stream Deck folder. Booda booda boop. And then let's see if I can just find an image of her. I'll probably grab it from... I really just want her face. Without anything else. We'll, we'll grab this one. Can I, oh, no. View file. All right, save image as. Cool. So we'll get rid of all those, and I'm just going to update the stream deck real quick. Don't mind me getting distracted from the code. Uh, where did it go? I actually have a special button. I think I have a special button that will open the stream deck folder for me on the stream deck. But then I'd have to go find it. It's a Unix system. And then I need... Uh, set from file. Excuse me just a moment while I crop her face there we go like that and then oh wait where did it go where did it go there we go got it Huh? <laughs> All right, let's get back to work here. Enough goofing off. All right, so yeah, that runs a lot faster. It has to log in, has to check all the things, but then it runs it pretty darn quickly once it does. That's great. PogChamp? Komodo Hype? And that was very important. I'm glad you agree. Uh, let's see. PogChamp. PogChamp. All right. I need to. I need to. PogChamp. Okay. Yeah. I got to. I guess I'm going to have to learn more about Twitch. And all the memes and everything that are specific to Twitch since I'm on Twitch. <sighs> okay. So I think what I'm going to print out is a file that is a um, please update an otter file.
And then I also hmm. Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder how that got such a great name. Oh, I need to trim the titles from that last space, too. Let me do this. Otter, parse, YouTube info. Minus one. Because I want to get rid of that extra space there. Okay. So anything that doesn't have a YouTube link, we need to fix that. So I'm going to put in here. Let me go to parse here. So let's do this. If not YouTube. dot URL, then we're going to need to put this in a special place. Let's um, unprocessed equals unprocessed. And then we could probably construct the URL directly to Otter where this needs to be updated, maybe kind of sort of. I'm guessing that we can. Um, but this, this ID does not look like anything. Let's see if, let's see if we can find this ID in that folder real quick. So we're going to go look for this ID in the sync virtual assistant auto downloads. Okay. Well, it did find it somewhere. All right. Fair enough. Holy moly. That thing's long, really, really long. It's unbelievable. All right, it's got it in the download URL and it's got the OTID. What does that look like? Uh, variants, let's see if we can get get a good look at this let's do jq let's see if we can find this ot id is it at the top level so we've got it under otter it's under meta details dot otter dot ot id it looks like so let's see if we can print that out because i want to make this as easy as possible what happens if we just get rid of the folder that this thing is in? Does that make a difference? Hopefully it doesn't. Okay, good. All right. So we need to get meta details dot, is it dot otter? Meta details, get or update meta. I think speech yeah so there shouldn't be anything too cray cray here should be able to print this out with meta details otid Okay, please update this with title. YouTube link.
And then I guess another thing that I'd like to know is where the clips are. Because they're the transcripts are pretty honking long. So if we take a look at this, for example, this is going to be so nasty. Look at that. Every single word is given a, a, a time in this. See if we got a Josh in here or a clip or an edit. Because what I want to do is be able to draw Josh's attention to things that need his attention with less of his attention, if that makes sense. So I think we want to look at transcripts. I think it's called transcripts. And then transcript and just look for a bunch of words and then say, hey, if this had one of these bunch of words then um, then do something about it. So we definitely want that because we're basically going to build up the to-dos. And then let's see here. So if speech details dot transcripts, I guess really not if so much as for each. And then we want to say transcript. So I'm just going to call it T. We want to say if T dot transcript um, dot includes, and really we want keywords. So let's do keywords equals, we want things like highlight, clip josh and uh, edits something like that all right let me see what else we got here they got rid of that guy's face because he said some bad things so now it's a komodo Oh no, what terrible bad things did he say? Let's see. Um, I also want to do story time and story time let's look for that and let's look at uh, text equals t dot transcript dot to lower case And let's see. So if text dot includes key, let's say words. I think we just do return here. Something political, yeah. That right-wing Nazi. I'll teach him. They'll teach him to be a dangerous wrong thinker. Let them know it happens to people who voted for Trump. Got to be on the left side of history. We will chop you down.
You believe in common consent? Well, we believe in common... Get the heck out of here! All right. Am I canceled yet? It's still rolling. <laughs> What's I gonna do? So if important, then I wanna look at the data here. Let's see. Can I, this is gonna be too big. It's gonna be nasty. Um, can we do, whoop, that's not what I wanted. Can we do? dot clean that json and then i'll look at it like that because if you just look at a big blob of json in vim sometimes it doesn't handle it too well all right so here's transcripts and then we want start offset and end offset Okay. And I think I actually do want to split on these. So text. Split on white space of any kind. And then let's see if any of those are included. And then we want to get start offset. And this has to be, it's in let samples equals uh, 16,000. So that's samples per second. So we want start offset divided by samples. And then we got to convert this to seconds. And then we want to link to the YouTube video if we can. Um, I want to get this formatted as a time code. So if important, let, and this is going to be what, hold on. I'm a little bit deep here. T dot start offset seconds equals. So maybe I could just say, if not important return. Because I don't really care about it. But if it is important, then we're going to take the seconds and then we're going to divide the seconds into minutes. So let's just go ahead and do math.floor on this because I really don't care about milliseconds. We're not going to be trying to determine where a syllable is happening. And then let m is equal to seconds divided by 60. This should be math.floor and then we should have let s equals seconds mod 60 <clears throat> and then we should be able to um i guess this actually should be dot two string dot whoops dot ah pad start how many two with what zero and then same thing here we should be able to do had start how many two with what zero and then i guess we should technically have an hours here as well so i should have a 36 zero zero and that should be h and so then we should be able to console.info um all right, one, two, three, four. I just want to put that in there. So let's do this. H M S Her Majesty's ship. And then I think we want to put uh T dot transcript. Well, 
Let's see what happens when we do this. This should be interesting. Oh, pad start is not a function. To string, to string, to string, to string, my friend. We got to two string them all. Got to string them all. Got to string them all. Ba -da 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 -ba 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 -ba. All right, let's see what it looks like. Okay, so some of these are actually way too long. So maybe we do want to go through and pick, I don't know, the next 10 words or something. Because this, I was hoping that these would be pretty short clips. These are not so short. Okay, and that doesn't look right. Oh, I know why. I know why that doesn't look right. Because... Um, we need to mod 60 this. So... Or mod 3600, I guess. Seconds mod 3600 divided by... Is it, is it this way? I got the right number of parentheses here. Okay, so let's let's try that one again. All right, let me catch up on comments. Ah, you're probably good. I think he said it at the height of the Capitol riots, so emotions were pretty high. Uh, you want to learn about Twitch? There's a lot of messy history around terms of service, community guidelines. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. All right, so that's not looking right. Okay, please update. Okay, so I did something wrong there. Meta details. Let's go check and see what I did wrong. Speech dot speech. That's what I did wrong. Okay. Okay. Dot speech. All right. So what should this be? This should probably be meta details dot speech dot title. I'm guessing. Okay. And I'm going to go to bed soon. But we made good progress on this. I just need to get this out to a file that's basically a to-do file. And I don't know how we're going to mark... I, I, I'm, I guess I'm hoping these are just sorted by date. And so the most recent should be first. And so this file is going to get overwritten every time this runs and we'll figure out some sort of pattern to say, Hey, these have been processed, but I don't know what that pattern should look like right now. But I can say, these unprocessed ones, unprocessed dot push we're going to put meta details in here and we're going to loop over these elsewhere so we're going to unprocessed dot for each and that's where meta details that's where we're going to put this but this doesn't actually belong here it's going to belong at the end of the loop once everything's been done and I guess that unprocessed then, let's see, unprocessed, that needs to come out to here. And then, likewise, we need to have these clippables. Um, what's 
let's see I'm not sure how to do this probably going to handle it like unprocessed so maybe we're going to have a let clippable and then we're going to have let clips equals so we're ah, here's what we're going to do we're going to have let clips equals and then down here we're going to have if clips dot length is greater than zero then we're going to have clippable dot push clips but we need more than that because we want to have the meta details as well okay so i think it's going to look like that and so here all of this information where we're doing uh, all of this basically that's not important what's important is this whoops clip stop push t if it was important and then we're going to do the same thing here And we're going to say console.info. Whoops. Console.info. Probably can put that up here, leave that there. And then we need clippable dot for each. And then that's going to contain what, it, what did we want to take out of here? We want to take clips. Um, speech and clips and then we want to cover all of our bases here I want to put that there and then this here and then this here and speech okay so we're going to want to console this is what we're going to do we're going to console.log speech dot trans no i want to get the inf info out of here please clip these um clue from from probably speech dot title maybe is that what we wanted to do And then we need to run clip stop for each on this. And that is where we have our transcript object, I think. So I think this is it. So we're gonna we're gonna do this big loop. We're gonna get all the information. And then we're gonna print out. Please update these things. Um, and I think if we don't have a YouTube link yet, I don't want to do the rest of the information here. So if it doesn't have a YouTube URL, then we're just going to push meta details and not continue. We're just going to skip those ones because they're not ready yet. All right. All right. Let's see what happens. Oh, got more bots. Say bye-bye bot. Okay. Hmm. Oh, we do need to make adjustments. Because anything that he clipped. All right, let me let me let me do this. Where is my YouTube bit here? YouTube.url. And then what was the other bit? I think it was offset. And I think the offset is in seconds, if I'm not mistaken. Or let me go check that out. Offset. Right. Okay. So here's what we need to do with the offset that we get from this YouTube thing. First of all, um, we need to... 
make sure that we have offset YouTube dot offset or zero. Now that should be there. Well, yeah, we need to make sure that if I have an offset of zero, the offset should be zero. So on, on here, what we actually need to do is subtract the offset from the seconds. So this should be offset right here. Okay, so now let's try this one last time. Then I need to save it to a file and I'm gonna hit the hey. All right, let's go back up to the top. So these ones haven't been processed all the way yet. Okay. Hmm. I wish, you know what I want to do is I want to replace, we need to make this easier to find where that word was. So here's what I'm going to do. Is say, if not, includes these words, then we're going to return. Otherwise, t.transcript equals t.transcript.replace. Uh, we're going to do new regex, and then we're going to have backslash b, backslash b, um, and we're going to put in here was it words? And then we're going to replace that with words dot to uppercase. And then we're going to put some maybe asterisks on that. Just try to make this a little bit easier to find. Okay, so let's do that and see if this helps. Uh-oh, what did I do? What did I do? Why did it, why did it mess that up so badly? I'm going to try that one more time. Do y'all see what I did there? How'd I mess this up? Oh, I didn't return true. That's, that's how I messed it up. All right, let's try one more time. Okay, story time. All right, I need to make that even bigger. So what we're going to need to do is like this. Hmm. 
I don't see anywhere where it has all caps in here. So I'm going to need to clip this anyway. Story time. But I don't see... So there... Where does this have any highlights or stars or I see edit there. I don't see anything highlight highlight. So this whole bit, I don't understand why this one is matching. Anybody, anybody see what I'm not seeing? Why does that match? I wonder if it's because there's a dot, the, the periods. Maybe I need to get rid of punctuation um, when I'm doing the split. Maybe I need to split on basically all non-word characters. That might work. Let's try that. Let's just split on all non-word characters and see if that gives us a little bit better. Hmm. Let's see if we can break this down. Or if something else is going wrong. Maybe if it matches once, it matches everything. Whoops. All right, story time. There it is. Oh, I need to match. I need Okay, so what I need to do then is I need to match case insensitively. That's where I'm messing up. All right, let's do this. Okay. Story time. Story time. Clip. Clip. Edit. Editor. Editor. Edit. Editor. So I think I don't want to necessarily have edit be a keyword, but editor, yes. Do I have Josh? Anywhere showing up in here. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Interesting that editor didn't show up there. So boundary. If I split on non-word characters, I check to see if it includes these special words.
think this I think this is redundant, but I'm going with it. Because the word editor should have shown up here. Hmm. Really not clear on this one. Anybody see what I'm doing wrong? All right, I've got maybe five more minutes. Maybe I'm not doing a global. I need to do global find and replace on that. That might make sense. All right, let's try this one more time. Did I, did I not copy this right? Editor. I'll throw a hashtag in here as well. Let's see, let's put these alphabetically. So we got this matching on boundaries. Hmm. Gonna go through all the keywords. And it doesn't, if the text doesn't include those words, then we're gonna return. I don't know what's going on here. In particular, why is editor not being matched there? Is that not considered a boundary? And then highlights not being matched there. Seems kind of strange. All right, let's see. Oh, I did some because I'm testing to see if it's important when actually I really do want to do for each. Hmm, right. Right, okay. That's why. So I had some here because originally it's just if any of these match, then it's good. Um, and maybe I still want to do that from the perspective of... Hmm. I still need to go through... All of them, no matter what. So, yeah. 
Here we go. That's my last shot at this. All right, looks good. So I just need to put um, Otter YouTube to do's is what I'm going to call one of these. We're just going to put it in this folder and I'm going to send Josh a note and let him know that's what I'm doing. So we're gonna we're gonna create another one of these. And we're call, gonna call it um, Otter To Do's. We're gonna call. We're gonna do To Do's Path. And I ended up not using this directory bit. I thought I was going to use it to check to see if files were there, but really, uh, as I'm going through the loop-de-loop, -loop is when I'm checking. So that ended up not being relevant. Oops. All right, so this is the to-do's path. Did I call it to do dir or to do's dir? Let's check and see. to do's dir. Do I have an example.env yet? No? otter downloads equals whoops downloads equals for example sync virtual assistant if i could spell that right that'd be awesome but at least i've got spell turned on in vim by the way if you do not have to spell turned on in your editor i invite you to do that that is something that will make the world a better place okay and then to do stir in this particular case, we're just going to put that right there. All right. And then I think we also had uh, otter email equals otter password equals. Ah. Hey, do y'all have any ideas as to what I should do with the channel? Uh, you know, d d while we're talking about this sharp in the stream stuff, uh, because these are the ideas that I have, but it doesn't mean that they're the only ideas or the best ideas. Oh gosh, it looks like we're missing some of these things from... The repo as well. Yeah, the pretty RC sharpened story time. And some of this is okay that it's out there. Blah. And I do actually need to get this set up so that it runs regularly. I think the way that I'm going to do that is using um, Serviceman. Let's get this to do's path out. Let to do's title to do's equals empty string. And then we're going to do an await fs dot write file. And we're going to have to do's path 
path that join to do's path with what would you call this otter title to do otter title updates.txt and then we're just going to have title to do's UTF-8. Let's see. Let to do equals and then we're going to say to do's dot dot push to do and we're going to console.info to do and then we're going to call dot join and give it a new line uh let's let's actually say this Let to do header equals the following are missing YouTube links in their title. Please update them. And we'll have the to do header here and then to do header here. That way I can preview it. And then here we can just shorten this down to the most necessary bits. So these, I actually want them to have an extra new line in them. I feel good about that. All right, that's all good. Title to do's, title to do's, title to do's. All right, now, hmm. this is going to be similar, but different. Um, I want to have let clip to do's equal, and then down here, we're going to have clip to do's and we're going to put extra tube clips. But I'll have to figure out some way. These are all clips I was able to auto detect. Please take a look. By the way, Josh, I don't think there's anything that you need to clip in this actual video. I just said the word clip a heck of a lot. Am I using fish? Yes, I am using fish. Hey, what's up? I uh, didn't see you there before. And Newton, how's it going? You're catching me at the tail end here. Okay. Yep. 
Okay, I recommend that everybody use fish as their shell. Never for scripts, but always for your shell. Let's see how this looks. Oh, is T already been declared? All right. Has clip already been declared? No. <laughs> clip to do's dot push clip. All right, let me run this again and to do's path I should do the same thing that I do here for the to do's path. Uh, dirt path. I'm just going to change out dirt path for to do's. Dirt path, to do's path. Do -do 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 -do. And then please set otter to do's dirt. This I could factor out. That would actually be just fine. But I'm not going to yet. Okay. Uh, this has an inordinate number of. Uh, new lines in it. Something went wrong. Because it's got, it's it's as if all of this were here, but then it was never console.logged. Oh, I know why. I know why. Because I pushed it, but I didn't actually write it out. Now I'm going to go take a look in my virtual assistant folder and see, Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm AJ O'Neill and I am upgrading my stream for my virtual assistant and I, so now if I look into this folder, we have this to do, which sure, let's just open it with text edit. All right. So it says, Hey, here are the links that you need for this. I kind of want to make this a HTML page. I think I will. I think I will. I think that'd be a little bit easier. So let's go find out where those OTIDs are. And let's just do this. A ref equals Uh, I guess that actually is the opposite way. A ref equals, put that in there, and then put this in here. And we can even put a little li, just to make it nice. And then, what do we do here? Put a little paragraph tag. Hmm. Well, I did kind of like the way that it was before though. So let me rethink my life on this for a second. I'm going to take this back and I'm going to call this to do HTML and we're going to push the to do HTML separately. And we're going to push this separately so that I can have it output to the console, not with all the HTML tags. <sighs> Let's see. This is getting messy, y'all. It's okay. And we're going to call this .html.
All right, so let's get rid of that one. And we'll run this again. And then we should get our HTML file here. And then if I double click it, it should look pretty nice. Excellent. Cool beans, cool beans. And I'll just go ahead and make it one better. I'll do target equals blank on these. So we'll do target equals blank. And then let's see how we could make this other one better. Okay. Well, these ones, we should be able to turn all of these into actual video links. And then I shouldn't have to do all of this nonsense because I can just highlight it in a different color. So that would make that better. Hmm. Yeah. I think this is going to work out great. We can even turn it into a table or something later, though. All right. Um, what's HTML yellow highlight color? Yellow color, yellow color codes. Light yellow? Should we do light yellow? Light yellow one? Lemon chiffon? Light yellow two, light yellow three, maybe. Let's try that. New clip HTML. A ref equals. Target, whoops, equals blank. I could probably give these something better than that, actually. Um, we could take the YouTube link. So we should have YouTube.URL. And do we have that in here? Offset. So we need to go get the URL. URL, YouTube.URL. Okay. So we can just get URL there. But then we could put T equals, and we could get this whole thing just as time, the seconds. I think if we just put seconds here, we should be good seconds I think that'll work out all right and then we could do a nice little h2 on this well let me put title html here that's what we think we want clip to do's clip to do's dot push title HTML and then here we could do a nice little H2. And then a nice little UL there. And then at the end we can close off our little UL. I think that might be it right there. Oh, and then
<coughs> with this transcript bit. Let's see, where am I putting that in? So we're going to put in a transcript. Let's do HTML equals. And we will do this, but we will replace all of these with something. And we'll replace all of these with something. I suppose like that. Uh, we'll replace this with what? Um, span style equals, let's just get this in here. Um, font weight, bold, background, color, and then where's that yellow at? That nice highlight yellow. This one right here, maybe? And then we'll replace all of that with end span. Okay, let's see how it looks. Let's give it a shot, and then I'm done for the night. Okay, so prints out nicely. Uh, oh, do we need to rename this to .html? I think we do. Cool. Look at that. Yes. Oh, this is nice. All right. Let's let's take a look. And that you actually uninstall node and uh, un oh that didn't work uh it didn't work because it needs an ampersand not a question mark t equals um t equals that should be ampersand t equals and let's go ahead and change this to dot html as it should be I'm going to go ahead and stage this. This is looking really great. I don't need that one. Okay. Let's take a peek. And let's see. Does this take us to the right time code? Uh, brave, yeah. I'm just going to quit it out. Indeed it does. Let's go pick another one. Um, so that was one of them. Let's see. Copy to clipboard. Got um, it. We're just gonna, we're just gonna say... I'm going to have to take my, my template description. Let me go grab that real quick. And we're just going to have to read that in. Hmm. But that, this is fine. This is fine. That this is great. Work. I can update the description. Update the title. That one didn't work. Let's try this one. I don't know, whatever it is, arrogance or bad personality I didn't piss you off too much. If so, consider a like, follow or sub. I'm actually working on something else, uh, but every once in a while I stop and go on a five minute story time or whatever. And uh, then this will, you know, get clipped out and yada yada. This will get clipped out and yada yada. Let's see. Hmm, so that one doesn't seem right, but let's let's try the very first bit here. Maybe from last night. There's just two things that have really been bugging me, and I think that once I... Okay, I think the problem here is that 
I think uh, this has offset information that is wrong. So I'm going to go take a look at that. Five code. Oh, hello, hello, and welcome back. Let's look here. 501. This is off by a few seconds. I'm Age O'Neill. I'm doing some live code. Oh, I think I know what's wrong. I think I know what's wrong. I think that we need to have a default offset of about five to 10 seconds because the file, when the file starts recording, it starts recording immediately. But the YouTube stream may be off by something in the order of five or 10 seconds. So I think that's the problem is I just need to have uh, a default offset that we're going to work with offset. I'm, I'm just going to put this as we're going to call this uh, let stream offset. We're gonna we're gonna say that stream latency is fifteen seconds, or maybe ten. Let's try ten. So we're gonna say that this is plus stream latency, or maybe move that down here where it's used. And then if seconds, okay, seconds equals math dot max zero and seconds, just in case, stream latency, just in case the stream latency is too aggressive. All right, I'm going to try this one more time, and then I really am done for the night. So it just depends because some of these when they're record yeah, it, it it just it just depends on how it's it's all done. Let's see where there was that clip 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 bit. This whole start of the clip clip clip. Okay. That's it. All right. So there's going to be a little bit of leeway on these. Well, hello, hello. That works surprisingly well. All right, good. Good. Excellent. So I'm going to say feature otter downloads. Uh, what do we call this? Download transcriptions and produce to do's. Okay. I think maybe I shouldn't call the other one to do's. Maybe I should call it clips. I don't know. Cause I, I don't know how to mark them as done yet, but next time, next Sunday, I think is when we'll work on this, uh, slash Monday. So I have here, let me just give you a little sneak peek at the root company blog. This is where I put the important stuff that I share with clients in particular. There's other stuff here too, but in, um, that I, I haven't necessarily shared with clients, but this is this comes from some client work here. 
if you need to be able to download a CSV from Google, uh, Google Sheet, this is the way that you do it. And I think all of this has an example in it here. So, so basically, if we can take a share link, the, the link that you get when you, when you go to share a, a Google Doc with someone, we can take that ID and we can reformat it and we can get it as a CSV download. And so this is going to be important because I think what I'll do is I'm going to, I'm going to work with Josh so that we can get some of this metadata into a Google spreadsheet. And that will be the database. And I will cross reference what's been processed for clips with that. That way this only spits out clip information that is um, particularly relevant, I guess. Oh, and one, actually there is one tiny more thing that I, I do need to do is that with all these clips where I'm putting the title here, I should also be putting the URL. <coughs> so yeah, a ref equals do 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 like this and then we should have URL and then target equals blank and I could put a to do here for making the target not equal blank but equal something that's basically that say the otter ID and eh, we could probably do that we could probably do target otter speech dot OTID um, I'll probably do that. Cause it's likely that he's going to open up the same tab twice or three times while he's going through this. So it'd be a little bit nicer if it would open it up to the right one. Although these ones with the timestamps, I don't know if I want to do it that way. This one, let's see, otter. Meta details dot speech. There we go. This one I'll call it YouTube. Okay, these two targets, I think that this one, it makes sense to be its own thing. We could, mm, okay, we, we could do this. We could do YouTube underscore speech dot OTID underscore seconds. That would be fair. Yeah, trying to make this as easy as possible. As useful as possible. All right, let me just run this one more time again. I cannot right. tell. That's good. Time. It's great. And really, it would be nice 
if I just swapped out, instead of doing the whole title, if I just had this part of the title, I could maybe do that. Let me, let me take a look because it's, that's just, it's a big block of text. It's kind of annoying. Let's see, do I have the URL in this part? Unprocessed. Meta details. Oh, because it's unprocessed, wait. No, these aren't the ones I'm worried about. It's these ones that I'm worried about. This is where it could be a lot nicer. So speech.title. So what I could do here is let linked title is going to be equal to speech.title and we're going to do replace. We're literally just going to replace the URL with uh, this whole thing and then that's going to be linked title. Right. <laughs> well, that's me. Okay. So I'm dragging on and on. I was trying to get to bed by one, but here it is closing up on two. And I still haven't gotten to bed yet, but Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Hmm. Hmm. This should have worked as just replacing a string. So it should have just replaced that title exactly. I'm not sure why that would have gone sour. Let me think about this for a second. Uh, did we get a little bit up or above? Oh, we did. Okay, I see how it went wrong. So I think what this needs to be is if that is there, which it probably will be, then we just put in a little BR here, a little BR here. And then again, let's take a peek and we should get a nice title this time. Good. That's what I like to see. Yep. All right. Looks great. Okay. So Clean up 
different titles. Or I guess this would be more of a refactor. I don't know if that's right. Anyway, all right, now I'm going to go message my boy Josh. I'm going to say... Um, I've automated determining which otter files have not been processed. Check for to do otter title updates in the sync folder. I should say our sync folder. I've also automated highlighting some of the clip info. You know what I want to do with this is I want to have a details where where the the details that are there's a details tag in HTML and it'd be cool to have it so that the things that already have the highlight are expanded but the things that don't have the highlight are not expanded. So if you wanted to see all of the before and after, so if I want to say, okay, well, what comes right before this? Cause here's a, you know, an edit. I don't know. Okay. Okay, so I've also automated highlighting some of the clip info. That's in uh, to do YouTube clips.html. We'll have to work out a system for updating the Google doc when the clips are done and I'll uh, have the script remove those from the to-do file. And then in Otter Downloads, we've got all this beautiful stuff right here. And I might want to put in there the the txt files you know we could we could because we could build out the index pretty easy okay we're gonna we're gonna leave this for next time we're gonna leave this all for next time let me go to the aj stream updater and i'm just gonna make some notes on some things that we could do so we didn't get to the blog bit uh download audio yep we don't have the delete done yet but we got the download done all right, that one we got done. I'm not gonna remove that yet. Let's see, goals. Uh, I think we did get this done, more or less, but we got it done with Restream. Uh, and we kind of got Control OBS done, really, with the Stream Deck. Index of uh, um, live streams and transcripts blog prototype so i think what i think i do want to do the blog prototype first and that's what that will be just like this except we'll edit we'll 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 edit it a little bit differently we won't shrink it down so much it'll be the full transcript with all the time code stuff um full transcript with all time codes create an index file of full transcripts of all time codes um do we still want to highlight story time etc and use hugo template 
I'm not sure what all we want to do, but there it is. All right. So for those of you that joined in, thank you so much for joining in. Thumbs up if you got them. Follow and sub if you want to. Uh, if you would be interested in any of the things that we've worked on, just give me a comment. Let me know. I try to keep stuff private unless somebody wants access to it or it's actually in a useful state. And this, I don't feel is quite yet in a state that's useful for anybody but me. Um, I don't have the documentation together. This is really just kind of hodgepodge. This is really one of my worst projects uh, because I don't, I don't know where it's all going yet. And I don't know how it's all going to tie together. And so it's just kind of, uh, but over, over the Sundays, as we continue to work on this, I think that we'll get to a point where, well, I actually don't want to open source this, to be honest. I want this to be something that I, I turn into so, something that could be monetized. Cause I would happily pay, you know, 10 or 20 bucks for this thing that I'm creating. And I'm sure that other people would as well. So I'd, I'd much rather, um, uh, make this something that's sustainable, uh, because it is something that is integrated with paid services anyway, but you, you can leave your thoughts on that down in the comments below. Uh, but I'm going to, I'm going to head to bed. So again, thank you. And all of you have a wonderful morning, noon, night, lunchtime, nap time, whatever it is, wherever you are. Adios.